Good morning guys. It is Friday morning. It's so good it's Friday. Tomorrow I can sleep in. I was really tired this morning. I think it's just because it's so cold. And we haven't really turned on the heat properly. Which I really need to do because it's now 17 degrees inside. It's no wonder I'm freezing. Um, it's under this zero. It's actually a negative one this morning. It's really, really cold outside. And so it's really, really cold inside. So I'm going to go see and I can turn on all the elements because I can't go around having this cold. So I had a hard time sleeping, but that's okay. It's okay. Um, I had a very slow start also. I'm not really... I'm not really 100%. Everything is a little bit woozy today. So then you can take it a little bit slower. So far I haven't had any coffee. I'm in this mood that I don't know if I'm going to have a coffee or not. And um, if I'm going to have a coffee, I need... I, I kind of feel like I want to take it on Starbucks on the way to work. My tummy has gone completely off the rails, so I will have to quit coffee for a couple of days. But I'm starting it out by kind of reducing it by one cup a day, because if I go strictly off it, I will be really tired. But yeah, it's a good morning. As you see, I'm sitting in the sofa. I find my camera here because I did my last video, uh, my good night video in the sofa, which I haven't done in a while. It's been a lot in the craft room, so I thought, why not? Why not just uh, turn on the camera and, and and chat here, cuddle up in the sofa, have my knitting and my embroideries, and it, everything looks like chaos. Really need to clean, but yeah. Good morning, guys. I hope you have an awesome day. I'm just at home, like touching base to uh, change out my packing in my bag uh, from the computer I usually carry around to the training clothes because I'm going to the physiotherapy today. Hopefully uh, the little sniffles I have will not kind of uh, be something bad with that, but I really need to get back to it because I have a tendency to kind of quit things that I don't. I have had previously that when I figuratively fall off the horse I won't get back up on it so it's time for me to get up back on the horse so I'm gonna go to physiotherapy I'm living in about 10 minutes the bus goes uh, 20 to 1 and I'm gonna be there at 13 30 so that is that is nice I'm gonna do that um, I had a good day today I'm having good days overall I am just going to this training then the day then I have finished my day, sort of speaking, and uh, I can just relax. I don't think I have that much to do today. I do want to make a card, but we'll see. It depends. It depends. I might just be stitching all evening. It's going to be awesome. Stitch, 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 stitch. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to talk. That, that was, uh, I, had, I had a thing in mind, and then I turned on the camera, and it all, all went out of my head. But yeah. Um... I'm having a lot of fun, but I'm also starting to get a little bit scared because um, now I can do everything with a lot of big uh, pauses in between and I won't be able to do that when I'm starting to work more. Um, I am going to have to find a way to make the video making uh, so streamlined when it comes to mostly the craft videos because the vlogs are easy to edit it's just that I haven't taken the time to do it so I'm, I'm trying to get that more into my daily schedule sort of um, but um, with the crafty thing is I have to kind of streamline it better to get down the time it takes to make the videos because I need to be able to make three videos in one day back to back to back uh, in the weekends because I have decided that I need to have a day off every week um, that is just not work, not store, not drawing, not making things for blogs and stuff just 
helping me um, made me go out walking with Christopher, going to museums, stuff like that, because I really don't have that right now and I haven't and mostly it's because that I am sick and I can't really do anything of that so I'm filling my time with stitching and stuff instead um, but I also need to kind of need to get my ass kick my little ass and, and find a way to to have the energy for those things too so life would be much happier but yeah I am going to leave now uh, to go train and I'll see you when I get back well guys a change! I finally got around bleaching my hair. I did a very poor job of it. I have a lot of like big spots in my head that isn't bleached. They're more brown. So that is, yeah. But things happen. Um, I have, first I have never bleached my roots with my hair this long. Usually when I get this length um i get annoyed and i get like i need a big change and then i color it in some normal color which is like brown or something like that uh, the only problem with those colors is that they are pain to try to get out of your hair um so then when i finally understand that i don't want to be brown i usually just cut it off so yeah so this is the first time I did, and also I left my roots a little bit too long, so um, they had grown out maybe an inch or one and a half or something like that. And then uh, it starts being harder to just do the roots, you should should only have it like half, half an inch at the most, so I should have bleached them before. But now they're bleached. And tomorrow I'm planning on putting the dye in in the morning so that I can be a pink person for the rest of the month because that is what I want to be. I was thinking about next time I let it go this far because I probably will because I'm a lazy person. Um, maybe do it in like a teal or a very like minty blue or something because then this would be like a purple color and then I would have the teal on top and then let the purple kind of grow out and keep the teal because I'm wondering how I would look uh, with teal but at the same time I'm kind of very comfortable in my pink so I don't know yeah um I have uh, I had a pretty long day I went to the physiotherapy and it went actually very good um, see in the morning how I feel and then I uh, got home fixed my hair we went out to have dinner um, did some colouring and then I just got very very tired so I've been sitting in cross stitching and I've been I did a teeny tiny finish I finished the little frame so here it is the frame of the pattern uh, so uh, tomorrow I will probably start filling in um, it's Anne of Green Gables that is going in so it's going to be a little Green Gable house and we have a little Anne here and then it's a uh, four leaf and likes October so that is why this box became uh, Anne of Green Gables so then I have two more and then this is finished and I have to wait for that until the 1st of November so when this is finished I am contemplating a new start um, I have I have two Halloween uh, samplers uh, I want to get a third pattern with a Halloween sampler because I want to do them all because I'm crazy about Halloween for some reason, I don't know why, I celebrated it as we don't celebrate Halloween in Sweden that way. But we, I had Halloween parties like masquerade parties and stuff around Halloween, and kind of decorated the home and and done f fun cooking and and like uh, pumpkin shaped uh, bread thingies with meat in and 
uh, carved pumpkins and I, I follow the, this whole recipe uh, for a good Halloween party. I had a lot of fun. I uh, haven't done in years. I think the last one I had was when I was like 21 or 22. So it's um, 12, 13 years ago I had one last. Um, I probably won't have one this year either because um, then I have to clean. I have to clean in a way, but nah. Uh, but I do want to, to do some Halloween things. I like Halloween. Halloween is cool. I like how it is kind of, it is this horror thingy, but usually it is horror with a cute and cuddly kind of theme. Most of the Halloween stamps I have have that kind of feeling, so yeah. I kind of like that. But uh, it's getting late and uh, we are, in tomorrow we are heading over to a, a moving party uh, for a friend, so... I have to get my beauty sleep. But I'll see you tomorrow. So good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Bye!